everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing our faith-based jewelry haul for my Christian lovers. Ladies out there, Christian lover ladies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited for this collection. It's a little bit shorter than the rest of them, but these pieces are dedicated to the ones that are very strong about their faith in God. So I hope you enjoy these pieces as much as I do. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the newest one that I have in this collection. This is like an abalone shell, and then I have the gold colored. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. I really love this one because it'll look great with, you know, wearing black or white, any color really, green, blue. All of these are on 16 inch chains. That's what that one looks like. One thing that I'd like to point out and I did in one of my last videos is these are sizable. They're a little bit adjustable. So these are 16 inch chains. And then there's three different sizes here. You can kind of see those little circles. So I think it's 14, 15, and 16 inch is what it looks like to me. So you can make it, you know, size it to whatever feels best for you, I guess. So this next necklace is based out of Psalm chapter 103 and it says, bless the Lord, O my soul. You can see here. And then there's like a little 3D-ish cross that pops out there. And then I have this rhinestone charm on there. All right, this is what it looks like on. I've actually sold quite a few of these and I've had a lot of fun making them. I just like putting things together, you know? So this next necklace is my most favorite out of this entire collection. And this one says, be still and know. And it's cool because the inside is like a gold color and then there's silver around it. And then I included this rhinestone charm on top of it. Kind of gives it a little bit of pop of glitter, you know? little icing on the cake so to speak like i don't know i like rhinestones because it's kind of an eye catcher right that's what it looks like on super cute i might have to make one for myself that's the problem i'll like make something and then i really love it and then i end up selling out of it and i'm like crap i should have made one for myself <laughs> so this next one is kind of cool because it's two different tone variations of metal there's silver and then the gold metal and this one says, it is well with my soul. And then I put like a little rhinestone charm with it. And then the chain part is a gold colored to kind of, thought it was a good idea to use a silver rhinestone and then a gold chain necklace to kind of accentuate both metals. All right, this is what this one looks like. Super simple, elegant, versatile. Shiny, pretty, beautiful. Down the road, my jewelry hauls are gonna be a lot better because there's actually gonna be natural light coming in the windows. <laughs> We're really struggling here in Minnesota. The sun's supposed to come out tomorrow, I hope. All right, this is my second favorite in the collection. This one says, but first pray. There's a gold colored cross and then the circle in between there is silver. And then I put a rhinestone on there. The chain is gold, not real gold, but it's gold colored. <laughs> All right. That's this one on. And then we have the last necklace in this collection. This necklace is based off the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 26. And this one says, with God, all things are possible. So there's that. And then what I did was I took one of these cross beads that I had. It's a little rhinestone, it's gold colored. And I added that on there. So, oh, and it's cool because the Bible verse is on the back. Kind of a good reminder if you can't remember where it came from, be like, oh, that's the section that it's out of. All right, there's that one. Just kidding, sorry about that. I have another necklace that'll go well in this collection that I just remembered that I created. So this one is cool because it's kind of steampunk, rustic, grungy looking, I like it. So there's a silver cross here and then I put on these really pretty beads. And then this is, this is authentic leather, the cord is. And then this is where the clasps are at. 
So I made this one. This was inspired. This was meant to be a choker, but I ended up making it longer. I think this one's about 18 inches long. It says on my website, but here's this one. So men or women can wear this. It's unisex. So that's the cool part about that. If you buy it and your spouse wants to wear it, it's not a big deal because it's for both people. <laughs> I know that this jewelry haul is a lot shorter than most of them that I create, but I'm planning on doing more faith-based jewelry in the future. It's crazy because they sell out pretty quickly. If you're interested, most of these pieces are available on my website or whatever's left. My website is www.rockandbakken.com and there's a little link on there when you click on my website there's a little tab that says shop if you want to go right to the shopping tab www.rockandbakken.com shop and you can check out all of my jewelry on there and you can filter it out by necklaces if you want to i have tons of stuff to choose from on there if there's anything in particular that you maybe have a customized order in your mind a kind of an idea you want to shoot towards me Shoot me a message, message me on Instagram or through my website and thank you so much for tuning in and watching today and I hope you enjoy these pieces as much as I enjoyed making them. Have a blessed rest of your day and peace out.